What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Ottawa Senators. And here are the lottery results. We have the 8th overall pick. So yes, top 10. Not getting in that top 5. But uh, we'll see what we might be able to find here at the 8th uh, overall spot. And it looked like the team we banked on, perhaps missing the playoffs, did not. So no uh, further pick up there. Hopefully it's uh, it's relatively early though in the uh, in that draft uh, at least in the uh, the back 15 or 16, I guess. All right, so we're going to check out the uh, central scout ranking here. Get some guys pinned that we need to. So, yeah, we're definitely obviously not going to get the franchise guy. With the eighth pick, this guy could be an elite, but no guarantee of that. Yet another center. Goal scoring, elite speed. Okay, well, it looks like another goal scorer. So, you know what? That's actually kind of a good thing. We do need more uh, goal scorer type guys. So, might be worth taking a gamble on. He, I don't think he'll turn out to be elite. I know Shake is elite, but I doubt that this guy will be elite. I think he'll be a the first top six of this draft. But hopefully, at least, he will be pretty good. And it looks like he will likely mesh well in any locker room. Uh, locker room. Doesn't have any weaknesses. So that's all looking pretty solid. Now there is an elite defenseman here at the 16th. Lefty though, yet again. All right, let's uh, let's sort by potentials. I might want to pin that guy. We'll see. But yeah, we're gonna grab this guy for sure. I might as well pin him. He's there. Okay, low elites. We should, yeah, we did get a few more. I was min-maxing the scouting a bit here at the end. We did get a few good. A right-handed low elite. That's exactly what we needed right there. Good defense zone play, good character, good worth that kick. Weak skater, but that's honestly the least of your worries. Loyalty may be a concern. Not the biggest of deals, though. He's definitely someone to pick up. Pin all these guys. This guy is also a righty, so I'm going to pin him. He's a maybe for that elite, but it looks pretty good since that's a uh, early second. I doubt he'll be a low top four. So that's uh, looking pretty good for us. We'll have to try to maneuver to get those picks. I might have to move up for that guy, but that will be worth it to do. And do we have any later top six guys? Have to see where my picks uh, kind of end up for these. But mostly we got the elites pinned. And that's what we were... Uh, that's kind of what we're after here in these drafts, trying to find those elites. So, all right, Marion Gabrick retires. Uh, Cullen, Kunitz, Kessler, Hemsky, Fanuf, Stafford, Brower, Molson. Not a whole lot of huge, huge names, but we'll scroll through them here. You guys can get an idea. All right, that looks like most of them. How about Tendies? Uh, just Jimmy Howard, really. Yeah, just pretty much Jimmy Howard. Not too bad career numbers for him. Retires on the Islanders. All right. Fanuf, Brodziak, Lovejoy, and Jimmy Howard all becoming scouts. Cool story. All right. Let's see here. Entry draft is coming up. I got the uh, settings turned on already. But before we do that, we're going to check out the, uh, the awards here. So Colorado ended up winning the Stanley Cup. Uh, presidents went to Anaheim. And Colorado faced Carolina in the Stanley Cup. Very interesting. Ovechkin with the Art Ross and the Hart. Norris went to Seth Jones. Good. Didn't go to D Dowdy. Uh, Lady Bing went to Patrick Kane. Oliver Wallstrom got that Calder. Uh, Landis Gog with the Con Smythe. Bobrovsky with the Vesna, as well as the William M. Jennings. Bill Masterman went to Jonas Brodine on New Jersey. Uh, Selkie to O'Reilly. Yep, I figured. Uh, Ted Lindsay to Ovi, and Sagan with that Maurice Richard. All right, and uh, I will show you something real quick. Our AHL team actually made it. Does it show? Yeah. Yeah, we're the Eastern Conference Playoff Champions. We made it to the Calder Cup, but lost to the Texas Stars. So that's, uh, that's a bit unfortunate, but you know what? It's how it goes. At least we made it that far. We got... You know, got some more experience under our belt, etc. So that's the good news. All right. 
So let's get this draft underway, I'd say. I don't think we have anything else to do. Got the stats turned on. Yep. Or settings turned on. Stats turned on. Okay, so... Arizona has two really good picks. The eighth overall. We have to kind of get lucky with someone dropping out or take... Or just take our pick. I, we're not going to be able to move up. Uh, none of these teams are likely going to want it. The only one that may want to move out is Vegas. But even then... What, yeah, they still don't want to move out. And there's not something that I really, really need up there. Um, this guy is a lefty. We need right-handed defenseman. Shake is a lefty. There's really no need to move up here. So we're likely just going to be taking this guy. Kind of hoping he turns out to be elite, but not going to hold our breaths. Likely that he's not. But at least, you know, it looks like he's going to be another goal scorer type guy, which... Uh, which we do need. I mean, we need more shooters. We don't have enough. We definitely need more shooters. And this guy, overall-wise, hopefully should be pretty good. So I think we're just going to draft in place here. I want to see where my other picks are. Goodness, it turned out to be 25th. So we're not going to get that offensive defenseman, most likely. That medium elite. But around the 25 mark, is there anything there? We could pick off the board. We have that guy likely going to be low elite. You know, we can get a top four defenseman who's, uh, well, he's projected to go 24th. Another sniper guy. I mean, yeah, but we need more elite goal scorers. So honestly, it might actually be beneficial to just, yeah, just kind of pick off the board for that guy. As we're going to be getting a very good weak teammate utilization. That guy doesn't seem like he'll be amazing anyway. He is 18 though, so he's got plenty of time. But I th yeah, we really need right-handed prospects and not any more left-handed ones. So yeah, probably just take a gamble on this guy. If he turns out to be, you know, the last medium elite, that'd be fantastic. I don't think he will be. I think Shake is going to be that cut off. So yeah, let's just let's see. Let's see here what how this uh how these top picks go. So yeah, center playmaker, 81 overall, medium franchise, 79 overall left wing two-way forward, medium elite, 78 overall, defensive defenseman, that's a lefty. Uh 80 overall, hooting and right winger, nice. Vegas got themselves a friggin' steal. Uh 77 overall center power forward elite. Shaker should be coming up pretty quickly. That's Wong, 77 overall. Unless something weird happens here. Yeah, they're going to pick Shaker. No, they actually picked up uh, Quavosari. So, yeah, he was actually 72 overall, but he was indeed a uh, top six. So, we actually could get Shaker here. Who, it's not a guarantee that he's immediately, but he has been in the past. Hard slap shot, offensive instincts, hard wrist shot. So he's got a really hard shot. It's not like that's great. His def uh, defensive skills are only C, physical B minus, but that's where most of his skills are. So it looks like at least relatively well balanced. And as I recall, he is an elite. So if anything, that's a lot of trade value that we're going to grab here. So yeah, I think I think we grab him. Like I said, the, I know he's a lefty. But at the very least, it's trade value, and if he is ends up being a top four, it's not like we're losing out on much. But I'm pretty sure he's a medium elite. And let's say he was updated. No. Still medium elite, 66 overall. So we actually did kind of... Uh, I was I was interested in this guy. I'm not going to lie, man. I really liked his... Uh, what it was saying about him. You know, the goal scorer stuff, and 72 overall, starting overall. I mean, he's pretty much guaranteed to get second line. But at the same time, we got a lot of more trade value with this pick than we were initially going to get. So it's not it's not even that bad. Not at all. And now we got to decide what we want to do with that 25th. I'm not going to, obviously now especially, I'm not moving up for that other defenseman. Yet another lefty defenseman? Probably not. I would rather just go for that low elite. So let's see how the rest of this top 10 pans out. 65 overall top 6. And 66 overall top six. Okay, let's just sim up to our pick, you know. I will go back and see what that elite was all about. 63 overall. Yeah, he's not bad, especially at age 18. 
it'll definitely take some development, but damn, the Lightning got themselves a really good player. All right, so it's either off the board. It's probably going to be off the board. La Vegas isn't going to want to give it their pick. St. Louis may not even. St. Louis does. Was that guy at 33, though? I don't know if that... Can I even take that? Is that a risk I want to take? I can take the risk, but is it a risk I want to take? That's the big question here. If we want to try to risk him... I mean, he is projected at 33. There is no guarantee, but we really desperately need... Says he has a weak character. But... Still might be worth taking. Yeah, there's really nothing else here that's grabbing my interest. I mean, yeah, I could grab another center, maybe a left winger, power forward, goal scoring, pro release, pro protection. That's all pretty good. Any team would love to have him in the locker room. Hmm. That's really kind of good. That's making me want to trade up. And I can honestly trade for another first if I don't want to go for that second. Trade even before Vegas so they don't get another potential steal in this guy. Like, I could trade for the final pick, and that will definitely, well, let's see. I might call a timeout if it comes down to it. Yeah, Colorado, actually, since they won the cup, they were a hopeful. They might actually, okay, they do want to give it up. So we'd trade away that second round pick. The 37th, plus something else. I'd rather have it be a player asset of some sort, if I can. I don't think we actually really have any of those. We got a low top four guy. That's one of those right-handed defensive prospects, though. Offensive defenseman. You know, it's very... You know what? I can actually afford to. If he was defensive defenseman, I wouldn't. Oh, don't even need that much value. Hold up. I am to keep an eye on the timer, so don't worry. Anyone here with a... Yeah, it has to be with two years left. With a tiny bit of value. No. Uh, def well, obviously not. Come on. Or on... Nah, we don't really have anything like that. It would have to be him. Then I'd take something else back as well. Or trade him for a different pick. And send something in. We are maxed out this year. I could trade away something from next year. Or the year after. I'm going to call a timeout right here because this is something I'm kind of interested in. I want to secure that guy, but there's also some other good stuff around this area. So let's call a timeout here on our pick. Or I could just make the pick, but no, I don't want to do that because I might want to have to, I might have to end up picking the dude off the board. Mm, could be an issue. All right, well, we can give up one of the later seconds. Hope to get another steal. Let's see what's around that 37 before I make a move. Going a bit back and forth here, but this will all be worth it. Anything around that 37 we're extremely interested in? Yes, there's a top four right-handed. Yes, so you know what? I want to keep that pick. There's another right-handed defensive prospect. Weak offensive consistency, but he's a defensive defenseman. That's not the biggest of deals. Defensive zone play is good. Good character, good work ethic. Yeah, that's someone I would want to check out for sure. So I want to hold on to my 37. Let's trade one of those later, later ones. I'm just making sure there's nothing crazy good in here in the later stuff. Not really. I'll drop down to low top sixes. Not even low elite. Okay, so we, we're free to trade up or uh, trade one of those other ones. And if we're going to throw in that... Did it just freeze on me? Yep. Good stuff, EA. Good stuff. All right, let's try this again. I'm finally back to the same spot. Tried to replicate what I did, and I'm not just starting that recording over. Hell no. Showing all the crashes because it's bull crap. And now we got to hope for Shaka to drop again, or we get the top six guy. Either way, I'll be kind of happy. We have the 24th pick now instead of the 25th. Not much of a difference. I don't know, maybe we get someone slightly better there, but we're still going to try to move for... Now LA won the cup, too. Yeah, that's... It's so silly. And I hope they want to give up their pick. 
and they don't. Cool. Great, 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 great stuff. All right. Everything's all backwards. Let's sim up to our pick here and hope that uh, things go as they did. They do not. Shake it goes this time. So we're not able to grab them. We're going to have to get... The oh, my fucking God, dude. Uh, so we're going to have to get this guy who's... You know what? He's pretty damn good. But yeah, I would have liked the trade value. I ain't going to lie. But at least we get yet another kind of point score, dude. So pick him up. We know what he is. 72 overall. Top six guy. And our next pick is that 24th, which we're still going to, I think, uh, grab whoever the hell. I'll remember when I see it. I'm a little flustered right now because I don't like bull crap like this. 24. Maybe there's even someone better here. Probably not. I think I still really... Oh, we can grab ourselves. Who was I going for last time? Maybe it was this guy. Who knows? Yeah, I think I was, I think I was able to grab this dude. And then we wanted to trade for Tuominen, essentially. Yeah, because and we want to try to hold on to our 37th to grab this guy. All right, so let's grab, I think, yeah, I think we'll definitely grab him and then grab Tuominen. I really wish I could get that friggin' 34th. It's really annoying. Okay, let's, uh... Let's just snag him now. Get that locked in. 64 overall. 17. He's got plenty of time to develop with that top four potential. He may get to top four. We'll see. That's another right-handed guy. And Vancouver in no way, shape, or form is going to want to give this pick either. So we're actually fucked because ooh, these guys don't want to give their picks. Vegas is not going to want to give it this pick. What was honestly a very good chance has now gone to almost shit for us. None of these guys want to give up those picks. Unbelievable. On the bright side, they at least want our picks. So that's the one bright note. So we're going to give up the, yeah, this one and then that top four prospect. And hope that that's enough, essentially. Because if it's not, that would have definitely, this would have definitely been enough. For the, for the last one, easily. And now, if, yeah, they don't want him, but you're taking him. Yeah, it looks like that should go through, but with them not wanting to give it that pick, it may be more difficult. Yep. Of course. So I could try for Vegas's and hope that the guy doesn't go two, two picks above where he's supposed to. But I'm not going to give up an arm and a leg for this. That's for damn sure. I could try with the other 50-something 50, 50 pick. That is also an option in L.A., but let's just take a, a bit slow here. Nope. Very unfortunate. And by unfortunate, I mean complete bull crap because if EA crash, we, lo we lost out on s in so many fronts right now. So many fronts we just lost out on. It's really unfortunate. Like, we, we lose out on pretty much double the trade value we got with our 8th pick. This is now the 52nd. And we lose out on having a very easy pick to trade for. Something that they want to give up. All right, at least they accepted that, but yeah. Huh. <laughs> Frustrating, man. Frustrating. I used to edit out all the crashes. I don't know why. I don't know why. And now I'm even like a game changer, and I just don't. <laughs> because, I don't know, I feel, I feel like you guys should be aware. Like, if you guys don't have this game by this point, which most of you guys will. But at the beginning of the year especially, oh no, I would not edit out any crashes. People should be aware of what they're going to buy. I should be aware of the problems. I should be aware of the pluses. Anyway, rant over. Let's just, uh, let's get to this part and uh, pick up this hopefully guaranteed low lead. I believe he should be. I don't think he's going to, he'll be a low top four. I highly doubt it. If he is, then he is, but I highly doubt it. He should be a low elite here. Yes, he's a low elite. 63 overall. Yet another right-handed defensive prospect, which we desperately need. He's 18, 63 overall. He's on already good pace to, to get to uh, the NHL. 
So all in all, very successful first round. Not as successful as it would have been last time, but you know. Still got this guy, yet another uh, shooter. So less value, but another shooting forward. So that's good. That's at least a silver lining here. Now we also have this pick right here, which is the 37th. So, let's see. What's around that? It was uh, either this guy, probably not, or this center, or this guy. Oh, no, no. It'll have to be this guy. That guy would have to drop back. So, yet another right-handed defensive prospect. Which, honestly, we should kind of just capitalize on it right now. Yeah. We need a bunch of them to see how they're all going to turn out. And I think that's... The smart move to do it now. We're just picking up three different ones, yes, but we're we're weak on that right-handed side, for sure. So yeah, Froats I think is our pick. Good defensive zone play. He's only weak on skating, which, as I said, not the biggest of deals. So yeah, I think that'll be our pick right there. And then we'll reassess what we need uh, down the road. In fact, since it's on the pick, let's actually check out where our pins are. When's our next one after hit? Okay, 38th, 78th. That'll be easy to grab. Yeah, we should be able to get that no problem. It's this area that's a bit more concerning. We're going to have to pick and choose a lot. We'll probably want him. And uh, Yet another right-handed defensive prospect. Hmm, he's okay. Also just okay. But is listed as a gem, so that's nice. Another medium elite grinder. A plus physical. Holy crap. Ooh. All right, so this is trade value. <laughs> By the looks of it, this guy's pure trade value. Vyacheslav Anisimov. Excellent name. Good confidence, but weak everywhere else. At least he would mesh it well in any locker room. This guy does have a pro mentality. Weak defensive consistency, which isn't too good for what, uh, for being a power forward. I don't think we're going to be able to grab all of them. But we can at least take this. Next pick, we could take that. S reassess where we're at after that. We could even pick, pick off the board here. So 60 overall, top four. 17, so he's got plenty of time to develop. So pretty successful first two rounds for us thus far. And we do have one more pick here in the second round. Which is 58th. So this is uh, can kind of take anything right here. Low top four, medium top nine. Nothing crazy good. Low top six. Leadership, offensive instincts, defensive zone play. Those are pretty good. Has the potential to be a true leader in any organization. I kind of really like that. It's another center. But still, you could play him wing if you need to. I do really like that. I'm not grabbing another defenseman. I got plenty. And we have another one coming up. Tikhanov, what do you like? Injury prone. Nope. If you're going to be a role player especially, no. Weak on faceoffs, nope. Yeah, I think uh, I think Saren Heimel is the best one here. I was all right. I'll check out the low top six guy, but ooh, no weaknesses. Really good goal scoring. Not amazing senses. Can lack the drive to win. That's less appealing. And low top sixes. It's it's a it's I don't know. Can depend which is better, medium top nine or low top six. Depends on what you're going for. This guy is a role player. So I do really like it, and I do like that he's a leader too. Could be an A in his future. Third line, third line guy, penalty kill time, put an A on his chest. You do need leaders down the road. And Posse Serenheimo could be that for us. So yeah, I'm actually going to grab him. This is a pretty solid pick. I like it. 62 overall too is not too bad because he is 18. He's got time to develop. And getting to 70 before age 20 should be very doable for him. So that's good news. Very good news for us. 
So our next pick is what? We do have thirds, so I'm not concerned that we're not going to have a pick. We have two thirds, one at 68 and 92nd. Also have a 99th. And that next pick is coming when? We could go really go off the board here if we don't want to shift around. 78th, yeah, we had a 60-something, right? Yeah, and then a 90. Yeah, we might have to go a bit off the board here to secure most of these guys, which I'm not really... I would like to secure most of them, honestly. I want to stock up on elites. Screw the blind picks. I'll blind pick in the end. I'll try to get as many of these guys as possible. Whoa. I'm trying to sim here. Thank you. 68th, and then our next one is what? God damn it, I already forgot. <laughs> 68, it was like 92, right? So we might actually have to make this first one off the board. 68, 92, 99. 68, 92, 99. Come on now, get with it. So 78. I'll probably just get this guy here. 78. Yeah, 92. We could grab him or go for something else. This guy's likely only going to be a high fringe starter, which are very good to develop in the backups. But then again, although this guy's 19 and he's going to going to be fairly low overall with no strengths. This guy has, mm, it's not, yeah, it could be a good athletic category. All right, 68. Let's just grab the medium elite grinder. There's probably nothing better here. I would have had it pinned. Nope. Let's grab the medium elite grinder. That's some trade value. Snag him up. It's actually 69 overall. What the heck? Oh, he is 19. That makes a bit more sense. But still, not too bad. Especially for a third rounder. So next up is our 92nd pick. And yeah, we will be able to snag the uh, green fringe starter. If we so choose. I highly doubt he's going to be like a green backup or or whatever high high star i mean if he is a high starter that'd be crazy but i really think he's a high fringe starter which again i'm not i'm okay with to be honest this guy's 19 is if this guy's also no he's 18 yeah i think i want to grab this guy he didn't play at all <laughs> but whatever i think this is the pick to make so i'm gonna make it yeah, high fringe starter, but these guys are really good to train up into backups of the future. They can usually get to like 82, which is a really solid backup. They're within the range. They're listed as backup. Yeah. All right, next round is round four. Don't freeze again. I'm really worried. It's like the 99th that we have, so... Let's get up to that. No, I'm not trading that. Let's scroll back a bit. See if anything crazy went. I'm pretty sure it didn't. No. No real low elites happened. Oh, there's another medium elite sniper. Not bad. 49 overall, though. All right. So here we'll probably start just picking off the board with our uh, pins. Yes, we could grab another starting goaltender. But I'd rather grab this guy most likely another right-handed defensive prospect will pretty much be set he's just weak on skating that's not the biggest deal especially in the sim especially for a stay-at-home type defenseman now he is gonna be quite low overall and he is already 19 so that's a bit of a downside but still you never know some people just spike with their growth 54 overall. It's not the worst. Could be better, but it's not the worst. And we are going to lose out on these next guys if we don't move up. Our next pick is like the uh, 120 something, I think. Which we will lose out on all those. 123, yeah. So now's the time to shift up. Is there anything around 123 that I want? I need to get to like 110 and, and slightly above to grab these guys. But I'm going to check on that 123, see if there's anything in that range if I don't want to move that. But it'll be pretty hard to grab all these picks if I don't. 
but just I couldn't. <laughs> uh, not really. Not really anything appealing. So, all right, we're going to want, don't have to get the 105. It's just another starter. It'd be nice, but really we want the two low elites, despite everything. I just want to grab the low elites and see how they'll, they'll do. Grab both of these guys. So the 115 and the 118. So let's say 113 or 112. And then the 116. So let's do the 12 and 16 here. So Blackhawks pick. We can do this and this to grab it. And we might be able to grab something later. That might be might be over just shooting the value a bit. Probably not, but oh, they don't want to give up any like way, way later picks. There's no way I get a fifth in this. That's actually ridiculous. But sometimes in the very, very later years, they lose a lot of value. But if it ain't on the block, then probably not. I'll try to grab like a seven. No, that's not going to go through. This might not even go through on its own, even though it looks like it should. Okay, it will. Cool. So we got that. We got the 112. And then... Oh, wait. It's way up here. Let's go for the Penguins pick. Which should be the 116. Trading away the five and the six here for that. Ugh. Yeah, the five and the six. Now this, we might be able to snag an extra pick. There might be a tiny bit of excess value. I mean, we could grab a seventh back in all this and still have a seven. We traded two picks for the last one. I don't think so, though. I mean, this is, it'll just be a blind pick if we're able to. Okay, we did. Cool. Yeah, that'll just be a blind pick. Now this should still be 12 picks if I did my math right. Damn. I don't think that was the guy I was... No, okay, good. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. I didn't recognize the name, but I saw the low elite and like I hesitated for a sec. That guy's pretty good though. 67 overall, low elite. Oh, he is 19, but still. That's still a pretty solid pickup. Yeah. Any other steals? There was that starter, 58 overall, yeah, at 19. It's a bit tougher. You're basically just getting a fringe starter type potential anyway. All right, so let's grab Griffin here, Jude Griffin. 18 years of age, a lot of time to develop, and he will need it by the looks of those stats. It's going to be in the 50s. No, wow. I guess that E really sunk him down. I thought he'd be at least in the low 50s, but no, 49 overall. Pretty rough. Yeah, that Ido Kalio guy is a steal just because of the overall. Screw the age. I mean, this guy's a year younger, but look how look how much lower. That would have been nice to grab. But whatever. We're still getting two more low elites here. Wiseman. Dennis Wiseman. <laughs> Very close to Dennis Weidman, but he's wise. He's not going to get locked out of any locker rooms. Let's go, Dennis Wiseman. Another 49 overall. Pretty rough. But at least they're both young, so they can have those really big break jump uh, growth years. Whatever the hell I'm trying to say. So now we got one last pick. Way in the seventh round. So let's see what's going on here. If there's anything that jumps out at possible... No. <laughs> really nothing jumping out. I could check the last uh, round, but it does seem to go round around with some of the trends. So a bit more difficult to say. And most of the lows are low top fours, fringe stars. Honestly, a goalie might be the best bet here. Pick a goalie and hope for the best. I'm going to sort by potentials first to see if there's anything that's close. Yeah, this guy can only be as low as a fringe starter. So that's probably our best bet here. I tried to get this guy scouted a bit more, but he didn't seem to want to move. Maybe he just wasn't playing enough. He's a leader too. Weak lateral movement, but yeah respected in the locker room and very low. Man, if this guy does turn out to be anything, like even starter potential or, or 
God forbid, elite potential. It could be an absolute steal, so I'm just gonna snag this guy without even double thinking it and uh Fuck! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! He shouldn't be a backup. I scouted him plenty. That should have been accurate that he could only drop down to fringe starter. Fuck me. Guess not. Yeah. Oh well. Bit of a dud pick right there, but <laughs> what can you do? All right, so there we go. End of the draft. Yeah, we actually had one less pick than we were allowed. But that's all good. We got a pretty good haul. A little salty that I missed out on that shake of value, but we'll see. Kavosari could turn out to be, you know, a solid second line goal scorer. You never know. Hopefully he is because, I mean, he starts very high overall. That's the one bright side about him. Starts very high overall. All right, so up to resign phase that we go. We got some scouts who are coming off contract. I might keep one slot free so I could at least check what's available. B for Russia, B. Maybe the B minus I'll keep available. Yeah, we'll release him. That's the right one, right? The, the, the scout thing always like switches. I think that's only after you do an action though. So we'll do that. Yeah, see, it went right back to sorting. I don't even know what it sort it sorts by. But it doesn't keep your sorting. So be careful with that when you're doing this. And anyway, we'll resign this guy. B for Russia is pretty solid. If I ever need to, I can fire him and grab someone better. There's really no... <laughs> I haven't seen any, like, negatives for just firing scouts willy-nilly, so... I'm assuming it doesn't... game doesn't really give a fuck. Which is awesome! Fire everyone. Alright, get those guys back. We have one slot available to be able to look into uh, the scouting pool. And see if there's anything we want. Uh, four skater is gonna become RFA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, accepted. Accepted. And we'll hear from the other two hopefully soon. Okay, so we got 25 mil to work with. The Zingle does not want to come back. Ugh. Bit unfortunate, man. We're on the up and up here. Look at Kachuk. He's an 88 overall now. Logan Brown's 85. Dude, you need to come back. You don't understand. Logan Brown could probably play first line this next year. We need a goal scorer on that first line. Kachuk really ain't it. I mean, well, he is, but I, I'm talking about his shots. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That's not too bad. Yeah, he, you know, he could do that. So yeah, Logan Brown, Marner, Kachuk. I just looked like a fucking idiot right there. Because I, the I got that split second thing in my head like, oh yeah, Colin White takes a whole lot of shots because he used to in previous Sims. But he just doesn't now. Don't mind me. Just sin being an idiot. No big deal. Happens frequently. Yeah, you know, I do want to single back, and we got the money. Oh, my God. Yeah, he wants a long-term deal. If I crank it down to four years, that's a bit safer. I'd have to pay him five mil, though. Let's do lower, ter uh, lower term, b bigger money. But we can afford it for now. And then hopefully if we want him back at that for a couple more years, we'll get him to a more team friendly deal. But I do want to zingle. We kind of need him right now. We do need more experience there. Uh Lindbergh, probably not. Eakin, I didn't use at all. And his 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 defensive stats were just like bit like a bit higher on the awareness. Fuck shot blocking. You don't need it if you're a forward. Just transfer three of those shot blocking into his defensive awareness. It's a no-brainer to keep this guy around. Face-offs are almost a good enough reason, but he doesn't want to sign. So no. Lindbergh could be still good for AHL, which I'll probably just keep him around only for that reason. We have the spare cash to bury. And he still wants. I don't it, he did this last year and it didn't turn out right. So I'm just gonna give you a that and make sure you just come back because that didn't work last year if you recall he said that and then he lied abramoff will be pretty much ready for uh nhl he's not the greatest and he's likely not going to get up to uh second line but we'll sign him anyway i don't think he'll want that two-way either but we'll see demella doesn't want to come back hold off on that wolanin it's not incredible Real, and especially with those offensive stats, but you know what? I'll give him a, I'll give him a one-year deal to see what he could do. Sturts. He's good enough for AHL. 
And with we actually had some guys playing, uh, I think one or two defensemen on the on the fourth line last year. So I can't really afford to give up that much in the way of forwards. Borieski honestly keeping for the could keep him for the AHL as well, or to be depth. Either way, only one year. We can afford a bunch of these guys. Pajot ain't too happy anymore. Saying I don't think I need him. I could use him for the AHL, but I don't want to get chewed out again. So I'm just going to release Pajot. He's being freaking replaced by all the centers we got coming up. Who are better than him in a lot of ways. Either defensively or offensively or both. Falk again could just be solid for AHL, which is likely the case. Boykov, he doesn't have much more room to grow. So I can release him. He's not even really going to get to depth. And even if he did, he's the stats aren't strong enough. So bye. Uh, Nick Paul doesn't have really strong offense. Zach Smith, the captain, is done. But I might get that Paul guy back just because, like I said, we were very short on forwards. And I don't think we were... We might have one or two coming in this year who are eligible for AHL. But it's not that many, just one. One year only. Now this guy can play AHL immediately, but I don't. I usually like to leave my guys off contract to grow. Yeah, Kulikov will be coming in to play uh, AHL, so that's one. Get him to his entry level. Uh, low, so that's two. And honestly, I'd rather have a 76 guys depth than a random. Uh, another low lead. That's Quentin Mathers. He's now 19. He's on decent pace. He's a grinder. He's got good defense. Not too bad of offense either. I mean, his awareness could be better for that defense, but still. Hopefully he gets some more discipline too. Alright, who else here? Is that it? I think we may have... Nope, that's that's it because it's main skaters. But goalies, I think we got one to sign. Yeah, again, 1965. You know what? He's He's there. He's there. So let's get him to his entry level. And we could keep Nilsson around. But really, what's the point? Because we're going to have... We got Hallette, who did very well in the sim. We could... I mean, he is still listed as a minor backup, though. If we need another AHL goalie, we can grab one, honestly. Nilsson isn't the biggest priority. We kind of do still need to spend some money here and there. Let's sim up a day, see what our situation is. Because I'm torn on that. I've never had a backup crack the NH. Oh, Dzingle still rejected that offer. Everyone else is cool, though. Oh, except for Sturtz. Not happy with the team's success. You know what? Blame fucking EA because we made it to the Calder Finals the last time, you dick. It's not my fault EA's game is susceptible to crashes. Let's do 2 by 6 Very well-deserved contract for Zingle. No sarcasm whatsoever. Uh, Dylan. De oh yeah, I still kind of probably want Demello back. Again, right-handed guy. Two years is fine. He doesn't want to come back, but I'll give him two by two. Now let's be generous. There you go, doggy. Roo roo roo. Fucking right, Mello. Sturts. I'll overpay your ass too. I'll bury that contract so quick. All right. Now, still deciding on Nilsson. It's a tough call because I want Hallett to continue to grow. But at the same time, backups are a dime a dozen. If we could have our, uh, our AHL team just doing even better, then yeah. And you know what? At some point, we could even trade Nilsson for a little bit if we... 
if I want to throw this guy in there. Or trade for one if I don't want to. I'm so torn on that. Like, he's 22 and 73 overall. Like, that's so good. Like, yes, he's only... Yeah, he's only going to be about backup, though. So, I got to keep that in mind. Nilsson would be better to have... We still got one year left on whole last, so we have him there for injuries. Yeah, he'll be the guy we probably call up to the NHL for injuries so we don't mess up our rotation. You know what? I like it. Let's let's have fucking five goalies signed. Screw it. And I'll give you... I don't know. You're not getting two years, dude. I'll give you a little extra, though, for being a sport. Okay. Anything else that I'm missing? Doesn't look like it. I got to keep an eye on how many contracts we have as well. I don't want to dip too low, but we got free agency coming up as well. Oh, wow. Lagging on the... Dezingle! <laughs> He's trying to get paid. You bitch. You're lucky I got so much money, and you're lucky that I really want to keep you around. Yeah, we'll have plenty. We got, like, Tonev and the other dude coming off their bullcrap contracts. I'm really not concerned. Fucking hell. How much do I got to pay this dude? To be on my team. Like six and a half? You're out of your mind, man. He really wants that term, but I, he ain't getting it. He ain't getting that term, son. You're get, you're taking a lot more money. You f What? All right, no. It's a point of pride. This is happening. I'm getting him on my team. <laughs> we're still not in a position to go after Big Fist free agents anyway. Yes, we're on the up and up, but we need to prove... To the league that we can have a, you know, competitive, maybe playoff style year. We're not that kind of team yet. So, and still, again, we have 23 mil to work with. Paying this dude 7. You pay this guy 10 and we'd still have plenty. I'm not going to pay him 10 for two years, but you know what I'm talking about. All right. I'm going to keep going with it because now at this point it's just comical. You got to do stuff for the memes sometimes. This is exactly what that is. Oh my god, two years. What are you doing? Two years is nothing. Brandstrom's not going to need a big deal. Warrell may need a big deal by that point. But again, two years. Two years for Lafreniere. Two years for Odette. Three or more. I don't know. You know, you know, we just got a lot of... We'll be fine. <laughs> All right. Come on now. We don't have much time left. <laughs> Perhaps more cash could change my mind. Oh, I'd be honestly better off waiting until free agency and signing him there. But it's just funny as fuck at this point. What do you want, Dezingle? You ain't getting no six-year deal. That's not happening. You're going to take 7.5 mil and be happy with it. You non-producing entity who will likely be playing third line this year. If it doesn't sign for this, I'm actually waiting. I'm not going to go to eight. Can't give him Burns money. <laughs> he heard me. He heard me. He called it. Yes, that might seem a bit crazy and out there. But again, we still have 16 million. It's just going to help us get to the cap floor, to be honest. In two years... Again, not bad. We got Scandella and Tanev coming off their inflated deals. So that won't be a, you know, a biggie. Abramov's not going to want much. Like, if you look at our expiring deals, we're, yeah. We'll probably even need to spend even more money next year in places that don't deserve it. So we're good. Don't you worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, I was on the wrong year. So we're good. We got five tendies. I'm just making sure everything's good. We are good to go. Yes, indeed. All right. No, we don't. Don't lie to me. They're lying. Don't don't believe them when that happens. If it's on the last day and you get a guy signed, it'll still tell you that bull crap. But if you're like me, you'll be very tempted to check anyway. Boom. Okay. Sign free agents. Who's... Oh, don't, 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 don't look. Don't look. No one look. You didn't see. We forgot. Forgot the rules here. Gotta actually be a GM. Can't know every little thing about everyone. There's gotta be some surprises. Bye. No more draft stat settings for you. I I'm saying st stats for settings, and I don't know if I've always been doing that or if that's a new thing for this video, but either way, it's kind of inconvenient. Words are hard. Dougie Fresh. He's only 86 overall. 
But a lot of teams interested in him. Like I said, we're probably this is not a great friggin' class of players here. This is a really terrible class of players. Shattenkirk almost would make sense. But at the same time, he's incredibly serviceable. Who's interested? Toronto. <laughs> I think we need more offense on our blue line. There you go, Tal Dubas. You're doing great, sweetie. Keep it up. All right. Um. It's nothing incredible jumping out at me. Another. I am tempted for another right-handed defenseman of some sort. Shattenkirk doesn't make a whole lot of sense being offensive, and the team's interested in him. Dougie Hamilton, same kind of story, and there's a lot of teams interested in him. We, do, I, like I said, we just can't go for these big kind of dudes. Like Anaheim had a great year last year; they're probably front runners. Edmonton, they're on the up and up. Detroit, I don't know. Larson. <laughs> he's got three teams interested in him as well, but he's also trash. The trade is one for one. Arizona's rebuilding. Vancouver's still trash. Colorado won the cup, but didn't. These are lefties. Hmm. Maybe one of these guys I'll grab for a short amount of time. Who knows? But that's kind of all I can see right now. Forward end, we're pretty okay on the forward end. We really don't need anything. We don't need any goalies. We got that. So really, maybe one defenseman we can grab. Let's take a look at the situation, and I think it should be a righty, because we had DeMello. Or we could just make a trade for one as well. No, it wasn't DeMello in the friggin' top four last year. So yeah, Chabot and Tanev we had. I'd rather have Tanev in the top four with like Scandella. That'd be at least slightly better. Brandstrom may be ready for top four as well, and Scandell is, is flex enough to be able to play it down low. So, yeah, lefty would not make a whole lot of sense because we got Shabbat, Brandstrom, and Scandella. Really a righty. Someone to be paired with either Scandella or uh, Brandstrom. Now, Odell is going to be breaking roster, so he's a s s lefty. And then he could play with uh, likely DeMello. I actually didn't need DeMello. I, t I kind of forgot about Odell when I was doing all that. So either Jaros or well, his depth. I wish Jaros' stick checking was better. He did very well last year, though. That's a plus side. He does have uh, low discipline, though. So we'll see. But yeah, I think Odell, he should be. I mean, he's listed as depth. He should actually get up to like top six by the time the uh, post free agency jumps happen. I don't think that he won't be. Could be wrong, but. And hell, you know, you never know. Maybe this year is the year where our defense can really click and Markstrom can get stat growth. And then, yeah, we'd have to sign him again just to trade his ass. All right. Well, there you guys go. That's my thoughts on free agency. I think we really only need like a defenseman. That should put us. Uh, above the cap floor as well, just snagging one of those guys. So who's your guys' pick? What makes sense from a standpoint of where our team is and what makes sense for our situation? We got Shabbat, who can put up some points, so we don't really need a great, great point scorer yet. Kind of would be cool to have Shattenkirk, I ain't going to lie. But at the same time, Toronto's after him. They, they need right-handed defensemen like crazy. They are more of a competitive team as well. We are on the up and up, though, so there is that argument, but there's also the argument of Kevin Shattenkirk is 32. It would honestly make almost more sense to, to grab Dougie Hamilton, but not for short term. He'd want more term. Like, you'd have to, like, someone who's a bit more unproven. That's why Larson, to me, would, was kind of making the most sense in that regard. Like, he's in his prime, but he's had a struggling career. So, like, a two-year contract for Adam Larson? Yeah. That would make a tiny bit of sense. And this isn't a guy that would have, and the team's interested in him, where it could at least be competitive with. Dougie Fresh. Yeah. So that's why I'm thinking Adam Larson. But I want to hear from you guys for sure. Definitely give me uh, your take on free agency. 
And uh, like I said, I don't think we need forwards. I'll, I'll check on that, but I'm pretty sure we don't need any sort of forwards. We're going to have probably even more young guys coming up. Let's see here. Let's see, we got like Marner, Kachuk, Logan Brown, maybe first line or still calling White. But White, what all the Zingle, that's, you know, top six, quote unquote. Batherson, Balsers, Norris is your third line. Ryan. Lindbergh for depth. Abramov will probably play NHL. Lafreniere we still have. Who should jump? He was listed as 80. He might. He should jump up again. I don't know. Maybe a depth guy. Like Abramov wasn't that good defensively. That guy might actually just be trade bait. He's still got some value. And he's not. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to trade that guy. Abramov's trade bait. That guy's gone. I can get a decent chunk back for him. So he's gone. Lindbergh will be depth, so actually we could use a fourth line center. Josh Norris is going to be going up. I think we could use like a fourth line center. Really solid, like gritty, gritty fourth liner. And again, we might not even want Lafreniere. We're not going to want Lafreniere on that fourth line, that's for sure. So someone else is going to have to kind of sit in that forward end. Maybe Norris, who knows? I don't know. It'll it'll be tough, but a lot of people vying for ice time. It could even be uh Who's one of those 82s? I forget. Anyway, we'll figure that out uh when we get to it. All right, guys. So that takes care of that. So give me those uh suggestions about free agency. Remember to leave that like, and I will see you guys in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you, be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow. And you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.